all you've been through with Alan Michael, I can't believe you're going to do this. Mother, we're having a drink. You're trying to seduce him. It's not going to work. Close the door on your way out, please. Didn't you learn anything from that mistake with immigration? Oh. Now, if you hadn't called them to tell them Elaney's visa had expired, she and Alan Michael might not be married. It backfired on you, which is exactly what's going to happen if you try and steal him away now. Eleni, what a surprise. Blake, it's a little late. Maybe we should just call it a night. No, there's no rush, Mother. So, what brings you by? I came here to talk to you, Blake. Your secretary told me I would find you here. Could we have this chat a little later because Mother and I are in the middle of another one of our fights? So I heard. Well, you really shouldn't take too seriously anything we say. We say a lot of things to each other that we just don't mean. What you say to your mother is your own business. I want to know why you sent me to Cedars Hospital on a wild goose chase, huh? I didn't send you on a wild goose chase. Oh, stop it, Blake. I bumped into Frankie at Stavros's room, and he said that he never told you that he needed help with Stavros. I didn't understand why you lied to me at first, but now I do, Blake. I don't know what you're talking about. You are trying to steal my husband, Blake, and it is you who betrayed me to immigration. No, 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 you misunderstand. I misunderstand nothing. I heard your mother say so. Blake is trying to steal Alan Michael, isn't she? This way no one else will get hurt. Get out. She already knows it's Are you deaf? I said get out. Yeah, Eleni, maybe you should come with me. No. I think it's time Blake and I finish this, yes? So, Blake, it looks like you thought of everything, huh? Eleni, you have the wrong idea. Ellen, Michael, and I were just going to have a little business meeting, that's all. How can you stand there and lie to my face, huh? I'm not lying. Oh, after what you did to me with immigration, you think that I would believe a word you said? What kind of woman are you that you go after my husband when we are practically still on our honeymoon? Answer me, Blake! Eleni. Why don't you just go home and calm down? I think you'll feel better tomorrow. Oh, you know, I stand by and I let you work with my husband because I think you are good for his business. I'm good for Alan Michael, period. Well, not anymore, Blake. I think tomorrow morning you can tell Alan Michael that you've quit. <laughs> Eleni, I'm not going to resign. Well, Blake, I didn't want to tell Alan Michael about this tonight, but you know, if you force me, I will. Do you really think you have the power to get rid of me? I'm in Alan Michael's life for good. You're just an infatuation he's going through. No, he loves me, Blake. Sure. Just like his other Greek bride, Harley. And that marriage lasted about as long as fresh-baked baklava. You're just as wrong for him as she was. Oh, such big words from his ex-wife, huh? Look, I don't expect you to understand. The Spalding men are a breed unto themselves. I know Alan Michael's father, his brother. Oh, I heard how you knew them. So what? What kind of woman would sleep with a man and both his sons? Me. Eleni, this isn't just about sex. It's about power. And Alan Michael wants that more than anything, and I know just how to satisfy his craving. Oh. Then why did he divorce you, Blake? Because I pushed him to take control before he was ready for it. But he wants it now, and I'm going to see to it that he gets it. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, Blake. You want a man who does not want you. You are so wrong. Alan Michael all but said he loved me this afternoon. Oh, but he didn't, did he? No. No, because he loves me. 
excuse me, Blake. Elaine, wait. Why are you going after Alan Michael? Go back to Frank. He's the one you should be with. What's, uh... What's going on? Eleni, what are you doing here? Eleni has mistaken our celebratory dinner for something that it's not. Oh, no, I have not. Blake is the most dishonest, Whoa. deceptive woman I've ever met. Take it easy. Well, how could you have ever married this woman, huh? Time out. What happened? Blake has prepared this lovely dinner for you to seduce you, Alan Michael. She's trying to ruin our marriage, and she has lied from the very beginning about everything. Eleni has mistaken our having dinner up here. The only reason we're up here is because the dining room was booked, so they, they gave us this room instead. Uh, look, Eleni, I, I can see where you would think what you'd think, but I'm telling you, this happens in business all the time. There's nothing to worry about, really. I tried to reason. You know, since this room is paid for and everything, we have the champagne, why, why don't we discuss it over dinner, okay? You have no problem with that, do you, no, Blake? No, no, of course not. We can celebrate our victory at any time. Oh, no, Blake, you are not going Please anywhere God. until you tell Alan Michael the truth. And if you do not, I will. Okay. Lainey walked in on a fight that Mother and I were having. Go on, Blake. Wait a second, what, what was Holly doing here? Jumping to conclusions, just like Eleni, although I can't understand why you feel the way you do about me. My mother filled her head with these crazy ideas. Uh, yeah, um, Holly has this way of dumping her frustrations all out on Blake, and, uh, that doesn't matter. Their lives are and their things are none of our business. Let's just go home, okay? Well, Stop we'll it, Alan nice... Michael! I will not be treated like a child about this. Blake has gone too far, and I'm not leaving here until we finish this once and for all. Nothing that Blake can do is, is, is going to change that. Blake, what were you trying to do anyway? Nothing, I'm telling you. Eleni doesn't like us working together. Alexander doesn't either. It's obvious that Alex has filled her head with lies about me. No, you are lying, Blake. She told me to, to stay away from you. She, she told her mother she loved you. I told my mother I loved working with you. Oh. Ellen Michael, are you going to believe her or me? Look at her. Look at the way she is dressed. Look at this place, the candles, the champagne, the low lights. She wants you in her bed, Alan Michael. And she told me that Stavros needed me so that I would be at the hospital while she did her thing, huh? That was just a coincidence. Oh, and was it also just a coincidence, Blake, that you just happened to call immigration the day that we were coming home from France, huh? And tell them that they should not let me back in the country? My what? mother, my mother said that calling immigration sounded like something I would do, but she was wrong. I didn't. You did this, didn't you? Don't act so high and mighty, Alan Michael. I got you married to her. <laughs> Do you believe me now, Alan Michael? She has lied about everything from the beginning. And she is not out for your best interest either, Alan Michael. Oh, if you only knew what she did to get that contract you were so happy about. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. That Packard thing. Remember when Frank came over, he accused you of stealing it from Louis? No, he had it all wrong. It was Blake. Oh, he told me how she left the papers at the diner. Is that true, Blake? I think you know the truth, Alan Michael. Well, look, of course, if I find out that you are right, I will go right over to Billy Lewis's office first thing in the morning, and I will apologize to him. No, that's not enough. How can you keep working with Blake, Alan Michael? Don't you think you should fire her? severance package and I'll give you a, a good letter of recommendation but on one condition you stay away from Laney and you leave Wait, Alan Michael, Mike, you I'm can't... sorry, this is final. 